So the Mi 11X Redmi K40, also known as the Poco F3 in most of the regions around the world. This is a device that we are talking about today. And recently, we made a review of MIUI 12.5.7, which was released for Indian users. Now, a big part of updates for Xiaomi devices has been Xiaomi.eu. What they basically do is they pick up the latest China stable ROM, they make some changes to it to be made usable for the global audience and then they release it at their, as their own ROM. So what we're talking right now about is 12.5.19 enhanced edition for this particular device. I've installed it over the weekend when I was traveling and this is my secondary phone. So I've used it quite a lot to watch movies, to play some casual games, to make some calls and uh, use some chat applications. So this basically calls for a review, especially after using 12.5.7 and giving a review to you guys. So this is a complete review of MIUI 12.5.19 xiaomi.eu for the poco f3 redmi k40 and the mi 11x before we get into the details if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this if you think you like chatting with like-minded people with similar devices join us on telegram we have more than 1500 members over there you can also follow us on instagram twitter and facebook and last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Now, before we start the video, a humble request to all of you. 78% of our views are coming from people who are watching our videos but not subscribing. We are bringing you good content. If there is any feedback for us, let us know in the comment section. We will improve on that. But every day we are making two to three videos, one video for each device. So please, subscription is the least we ask for and it doesn't cost you anything. So please support us by subscribing. Now, getting back to today's video, Xiaomi.eu enhanced stable 12.5.19, updated on the 22nd of November 2021. Now, if we talk about the changelog over here, the Xiaomi.eu team has not given any details here. So let's see here what we have. We have system stability issues in certain cases, updated Android security patch to November 2021. This changelog doesn't mention all the changes made by Xiaomi.eu or Xiaomi. Right. So the change log isn't huge. So why should you care about this particular update? Now, remember, since the time enhanced edition came into the picture for this particular device, the device has been smooth overall. But in, you know, Indian update or the global update, there might be a few things which are missing. For example, on the Poco F3, you get the Poco launcher. With Xiaomi.eu, what happens is you get a system launcher and you get the best of both worlds. For example, you have Google feed over here. Now, let's talk about the initial things one by one. The moment you boot into this particular ROM, it is plain MIUI. Nothing new, nothing different over here. From the top to bottom, you have your notifications and then you have your action center, control center, which looks a lot like iOS. You know why. You have a setting shortcut over here and you have all the other info available at the top. Now, the first thing that you'll see over here, typical Xiaomi.eu, you do get your data usage over here. So that is good and you get a very, very smooth experience overall compared to say a stock ROM. To the left, of course, you have Google feed, which works absolutely fine. No issues whatsoever, smooth as butter. Even while scrolling, you go to the home screen, it works absolutely okay. Now, if you press and hold over here, you will get the standard MIUI customization options. So you have your you know, wallpapers over here in which you do have about five live wallpapers and all of them are updated. So that is a good thing. Things that you get with Xiaomi.eu, right? Now, apart from this, if you go to the home screen, press and hold or pinch over here, you will see that you have the widgets option, typical MIUI widgets, but see the smoothness. It's really, really nice. Pinch once again and you have an option to go to launcher settings. You will see that you have the system launcher with Google Discover available, double tap to lock screen. You can change the recent style. You can arrange them horizontally. And as you can see, the animations of this MIUI 13 launcher, yes, it does come with a launcher, which you'll probably get in MIUI 13 and just see over here. The smoothness, the cohesiveness is really, really nice. And this is one of the few devices that I've said it in the past as well. You can actually live with MIUI. You do have floating windows option over here at the top. And then you have cleaner, security scan, deep clean, manage apps and all those other options. So if you press and hold on any given application, you will have free form windows or floating windows that Xiaomi likes to call it. 
and you will also have split screen multitasking. You can also go ahead and lock a particular app in memory. So those features are present and they're working absolutely fine. Something more that is present and works absolutely great is the app icon animations. Just see how smooth and cohesive they are. They work absolutely okay. As far as extra features are concerned, you don't really have a lot of features that are available, but the experience in the camera is pretty consistent and pretty good, so nothing to worry there. One thing that I did notice in this particular update is the black crush, which I did mention in 12.5.7 Indian has been fixed. That means, you know, when you're watching a video in a dark environment and a dark scene comes and you have HDR enabled and stuff like that, it absolutely works fine. The black crush is minimal now. And remember, this is a very good display to watch movies on when I'm traveling. I prefer this over my iPhone. I'm not saying this is better than the iPhone, but this is slightly bigger. And uh, yeah, it also helps me to preserve battery on my iPhone, which is my privacy pri primary device. Anyways, so the issues had been fixed. They work absolutely fine. The built-in system apps are updated. And if you go to settings, say you go to my device and you go to all specs over here, you will see that surprisingly it comes with a November security patch. It doesn't come with a December security patch. It does come with perf kernel and all the usual stuff. This is still Android 11. We are not talking about Android 12. Apart from this, you know, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth connection and sharing all standard stuff. If you go to display, you have MEMC and all the other things which are present. Always on display is just as always. It was present and is working fine. The gestures are smooth and scrolling screenshot is present and that works absolutely fine. You also get a new editing menu over here, which has been there for quite a long time. If you go to the security application, you will see that you have the updated security application over here. So 5.6 is the version. If you talk about game turbo, say let's go ahead and launch CPU throttle test. You will get a boosted message over here. Right, so you have the new game turbo in which you can go to the performance mode and you can enable the performance option as well. So the new game turbo is present and it works absolutely fine. But if you go to settings and say if you go to battery, you don't really have the performance toggle over here, which is really weird. And this is only happening on Indian Mi 11X devices. If you have a Poco F3 and of course the Redmi K40 already has it, even on 12.5.7, if you install the Indian 12.5.7 on say the Poco F3, you will get that toggle of performance profile. So that's really, really weird. But if you ask me about the battery life, the battery life on this ROM is splendid. It gave me around six to seven hours of screen on time. Let me actually go ahead and show you. I was watching movies though, to be honest. So let's see here. 35 hours and 10 minutes and we still had 14%. Screen was around four hours and we ran benchmarks and we watched videos. So, you know, the performance was pretty great. Nothing to worry there. Decent performance. I did play BGMI on 60 FPS and it worked ab absolutely fine, right? Now, if you talk about safety net, passes right out of the box. Widevine L1, well, it is present. Fingerprint scanner and face unlock works absolutely fine. Network connectivity, Wi-Fi speed, internet speed, data speed, video calling on the carrier network. This is a stock-based ROM, so it works absolutely okay. Right now, if you talk about the benchmark numbers, let's go ahead and talk about CPU throttle test first. Okay, so 231 400 GIPS CPU throttle to 94% after adding this to Game Turbo. So, decent performance there, although not the highest numbers. If you actually go to Geekbench over here, let's see here. 975 single core, 3231 multi core. So, that's a good thing and it works absolutely fine. If you further go to Antutu benchmark, Let's see here, 679,000. So the performance is rock solid. The device doesn't overheat and you know, the battery backup, the charging speeds. In fact, the charging speed is really good. One hour, five minutes, one hour, seven minutes in say one to hundred percent is really, really good for a 33 watt charger. So if you ask me the latest update of Xiaomi.eu 12.5.19 doesn't have any major issues. I did not experience any major lags in two to three days of usage. It works fine. The UI is actually enhanced. It works great. You can definitely go ahead and use it as a daily driver if you wish to. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video and this particular update and do remember to subscribe. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.